Good day, people. Welcome back to my channel, Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your I'm your host Shaheen. We're looking at gold. Gold has slowed down a bit. Uh, the amount of impulse uh, power that we were supposed to be uh, seeing is not occurring in the market, which makes me think that could something else be happening. And uh, to do that, we have uh, first of all, I have. Uh, try to come up with another explanation and see why is the price not swiftly moving downwards as we saw in the previous impulse movement if you can see the previous impulse movement if correction did complete over here which I suggested earlier then this price should have moved very fastly but it did not it has slowed down a little so I've drawn this uh, percentage tool that I use it's uh, eight equal divisions of the hundred percent and we can see that it's uh, finding some support around 87.5 uh, of the total price movement along with that if you look at a 15 minute chart the price movement could that be looking at an ending diagonal way one two three four right over here and a double zigzag as a five so if that is an ending diagonal then there is the possibility that you might be actually the next move might be actually happening on the upside instead of what we are expecting in the downside on a short price movement so we'll keep that in mind in fact i have uh, it's up to you if you want to i mean personally i'm not i'm not ad advising what trade you you want to take but i just i'm just uh, explaining what pattern i'm seeing right now if that is a possibility could that means that this is a b and c and this is a larger a b and c a flat pattern and this is a single zigzag correction another zigzag so for now that looks more probable I think so because the price has really slowed down if you look at the price structure it has really slowed down and the trade that I started right over here uh, let me show you guys because in the last video I did show you guys some trading setup I took the trade right over here uh, closed the trade I took some profits and then closed the trade right over here and then I entered the trade again I went long on again and the price fell down a little expecting that the price would actually bounce back from here but it did not so it has found support again at 12.5 percent and uh, if you look at my stop loss right over here this is my uh, uh, my trade setup and I'm expecting prices to go long uh, like it did right over here so we'll see how the market goes I have limited my stop loss and see how the market reacts I'm expecting it looks like that the correction is going to go deep we thought initially that the correction was right over here around 50 percent so let's see this is one two three four boxes and we have one two three four boxes so we can expect the prices to probably if it jumps up then probably this is the good region for the price target if it does go up uh, let's have a look on 15 minute chart I'm expecting if it does go up it will be swift as is this one so does that mean that we might see some uh, action in silver as well because we have seen silver fallen sharply does that mean that we'll have some correction now and uh, we'll have to look at it uh, if you look at the five minute chart let's have a look at 15 minute chart not be miserable so it does look like that we have kind of completed a five wave structure so far we have one two three four uh, some sort of a leading diagonal you can just say right and then fifth wave is really expanded and then we can see that wave a wave b and then price movement upward is that a possibility you'll have to look because right now it's oversold in a shorter time frame if you look at a 15 minute time frame it came down sharply and then we so far we haven't seen a meaningful reaction so we'll have to look at it uh, i'll see you guys uh, uh, with the next uh, in the next video thank you so much have a good one and bye bye